News came into the office the other day that Cadillac was in real trouble, so immediately Hammond and I went for lunch. <laughs> May, on the other hand, said, no, 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 I must go and find out what's wrong and what they're doing to put it right. So, over to you, Billy Bob, Jimmy May Jr. the third. Here's the problem. Cadillac's main customers are a lot of doddery old biffers in Florida. People who like their suspensions soft, like their sprouts. The situation is even worse in Britain. They tried to woo us with the Cadillac STS, but nobody bought one. Well, except Stuart Hall. Clearly, some drastic measures are necessary. So, how drastic is this? It's the Cadillac 16. A car designed to show the world that Cadillac can once again lead the way in luxury. Well, it's very big, which is a good start, and it's also rather clever. Let's have a look at the engine, for example. That is a 13 and a half litre V16, 16 cylinders. But if you're just cruising along, you only use four cylinders. If you go to overtake someone, you get eight cylinders. And it's only when you flatten it, as the Americans would say, that you get all 16. Now that means that this two and a half ton, 20 foot long car will do 20 miles to the gallon, which is actually very impressive. My old Bentley does 14 miles to the gallon. And that's a small car. Inside, it's rather like a very rich, self-made American's house. I mean, the wood is just a bit too shiny, really, and the leather is a bit like a supermodel's buttocks. And the clock is too posh. That's good. So here we are on the historic and demanding Goodwood race circuit. This is where Sterling Moss nearly died, and Bruce McLaren did. And this is a 1,000 horsepower car, so I thought I'd smoke this cigar and talk about luxury. I like luxury. It's the new performance. I think they've got this spot on. This is exactly what a Cadillac should be. It's big and plush and probably a bit vulgar. Now, I don't think the Queen's going to have one because she's got a Bentley. And I don't think Gerhard Schroeder's going to have one because he's got a Mercedes Benz. And Elvis can't have one because he's dead. But let's think where the real money is these days. Elton John, David and Victoria, Puff Diddley, or Dudley, or whatever he's called this week. Stuart Hall. This car is absolutely of its time. Now this is what I call shock and awe. It's, it's hammer time. I have not been interested in any Cadillac, really, not since 57, and I wasn't born then, so I wasn't particularly interested even then, but this is just amazing, isn't it's, it? I think it's just, it's fabulous. It's stolen the show a bit, hasn't it? I think, I, it has, I mean, it's, it has. It's walked all over the Bentley, which is, you know, which we thought would be the king of the hill today. Yeah. Can they make it? Well, I didn't say this in the film, but this is really just a prototype. It's a sort of experimental car, but they could make it because there's nothing, there's, there's no pie-in-the-sky stuff. It's got a proper engine, it's a proper space frame, it's got a normal interior. They could make it. Can I see that engine? Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I know I saw it when you felt, I just want yeah. to see it in real life. Now, this, this would be powered on the real version, obviously. Well, it wouldn't be. I know Americans yeah. might lose weight if they actually had to do something for themselves. Look Whoa, at hey. that. Look at, where's the propeller? Yeah. I mean, it either needs one on the front or on the back. That's, a, and that's how many? 13 and a half? 30, it's actually 13.6 litres, 1,000 horsepower. So, but, what will it take for them to actually put this into production? Well, I reckon those people I mentioned in the film, like, you know... Oh, Elton and... Elton and Bex Posh and Bex and you yeah. and Stuart Hall. If Stuart they, Hall? Stuart Hall. You, you ring up Cadillac, whatever their number is, and say, make that car. So, Stuart, if you're watching tonight, do that. You'll be the talk of Cheshire.